Hello everybody, welcome back to Jonas Click Tips, thanks for joining me. Some time ago, I did a video, uh, as maybe some of you can remember, that gazebo and the dows. So the two-tier gazebo cake with the dows around, eight dows were circling around, uh, quite a romantic design and uh, one of my favorite actually. And uh, we, as a common practice, that we also do a short uh, preview for YouTube to make you understand what we're doing at that uh, yenosway.com site. So, uh, also that I try to give you a short information that also you can benefit for those videos. Uh, I have to admit that I'm sorry that it was a quite stingy uh, practice because I show you only the wing of the bird. So today I'm going to finish that missing part. I'm going to show you complete uh, DAO, how to do it. I'm going to do two of them and the wings, of course, we're going to do again. And then I'm going to arrange it on this two tier cake as an as a anniversary cake, uh, arranging the birds on this golden branch. So we're not going to emphasize too much of the cake because the cake is ready. I like to make this complete information about how to make the sugar dows together. So uh, what I have on this table, quite uh, common things that I have two tier cake with this uh, golden branch. This branch is actually a real branch. So I just pick up sometimes dry branches from my garden. If I don't like the shape, I actually break the branches and join them together with the, some uh, hot glue gun and after that I spray with the edible uh, gold. So you cannot eat of course the branch but at least we're using sort of non-toxic gold color to make it nice. All right. I have here a soup plate. I find that the inside part of the plate is just the right angle to create that wings like this. So it is a quite natural uh, turn. So the window wings are like a flapping like that. Is it got a like, they don't have straightness. They have a bit of like folding shape. Uh, I can create that with a just normal uh, household soup plate. I have pastillage I'm gonna use of course. And I have a pen here, not for writing. If I take this insert in, I don't open up. I can use this part for the eyes of the bird. I have a piece of plastic to give you a little template that show you what to do it. And I have a, a kind of plastic uh, perspect sheet, quite firm. Uh, I can place it on the pastelage to make sure that pastelage doesn't dry while I'm working, while I'm time consuming doing these wings. And a big knife and little cake pop sticks that I'm gonna use it to stick on the body of the birds and then make sure that when I'm poking on the on the cake, it's not something unusual. And then uh, I have scissor, PVC pipe for rolling, I have starch and a little pins for poking the air bubbles out and oil spray and always, of course, wet and dry hand towels, very handy, have it on the table. So let's start. In order to do this dows, uh, my style, you have to do the wings one day before because we're gonna do the wings and then getting hardened nicely and after that, when we do the body, uh, we can just poke it inside and then the wings will stay in the right place. It will be hassleless. It will be just no problem at all. Just only do the wings one day before, let it dry. So I'm using pastillage. This is not ready to use because it's already stored in the plastic bag. And then I just pick up from my box. It is quite hard. So I put in the microwave for a few seconds. So this is about, let's say 150 gram or 200 gram. I just give like sort of like, I don't know, just to maybe five, six seconds, just to, it's not really completely hard. That's why I'm gonna be careful not to make it too soft, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's get a piece of pastillage out like this. I use more often oil on the table than just the starch, especially for pastillage, it's a very good idea. All right. Of course, at the beginning, it's not really nice and pliable. It's not really smooth, so give it good knead. So those wings are ready. Uh, as you see that, this is the right side, five of them, and the left side, five of them. So I just put them in the middle like this. I'm gonna use the same plate again for the new ones, all right? Of course, I'm gonna use those wings, these wings, to, to make the, my birds today, all right? But I'd like to show you how to do that. Give it a good knit, all right? A little bit of oil. All right, 
and then you roll it. I think it's around one millimeter would be good. Not less than one millimeter because if it's too thin, it will be quite fragile and brittle, right? So uh, what I like to do, I'm going to do myself a little template. So template means that depends of the size of the, like this bird, these wings, is around, let's say, about uh, three centimeters wide. All right, just a diamond shape like this. That's already good. So that will be, if I have to be too precise, I'm going to use this, but I'm not going to use it just to show you that what is my principally, that what I'm, what I'm looking for. Piece a little bit of oil again on top, just cut in the middle like this, and then estimate it like that, like that. I start from middle because I want to have equal amounts left and right. All right, then as I said, this one, similar kind of like situation, like that. This is, you can continue and then all those things which is not completely right, take it out. Leave only the complete ones. All right, then go around here, exactly the same. So as you see, I'm doing like many of them all in once. All right. You can do them like this, um, quite a few number, and let it dry. Keep it in the box whenever you need it. You want to do a bird. The wings are ready, all right? Pasta is not something that you can leave it on the table too long. Put it back into the, into the back. All right? Now, critical thing is, pasta just dry very quickly. So I like to protect that while I'm working one by one. Just put it over here. It's okay. Now you can keep it, all right? Now, watch this very carefully. This is my plate, and first thing I take it out, one at a time, all right? I always use this side, so that like the, the arrow goes this way, all right? Because this is my comfortable, comfortable position. So I'm using my scissor and cutting sort of like halfway through the feathers. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm just using only the end bit of the scissor and cutting and stopping in the middle of the way. All right, so this is what I do. So this is pro basically is not really a good looking good one. So I'm just turning around here like this and cutting like that. Okay, and then this is also not natural. I'm just gonna cut this one. This is already ready. So after that, what I do, I just open this one slightly, all right, and use this one and then give a bit of like very small, small actions that make the, the wing feathers a little bit separate from each other and also like extended to sort of a little bit sort of like not so in the same, 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 uh, same length. It makes it quite natural, all right? After that, the scissor. The end bit, complete close, open only a little bit, all right? And then you have this, this direction here, all right? So touch, 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 again, second line, touch, 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 touch. So it makes it, I don't want to spend too much time. So it is quite good and very shortly done, very shortly done. So this is the first one, all right? Let me do you one more time and maybe one more time later on, okay? So cut, 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 and then remove that, end bit and make it quite nice and round 
and then also cut this one. Separate a little bit like this and then give a small touch like this. Look at it. Okay, that's not really happened nice, so I'm just going to cut again. All right. Let's do it one more time. Done. Oops, I forgot the other one. I forgot the scissor markings. Okay, let's do it one more time. You can do the scissor marking first, then the roller after, doesn't matter. Okay. Look at that. So that is really nice because that last few feathers is opening from each other like this. It makes it quite natural, all right? So that we put over here. Now I'd like to show you the other side. So now this one I pick up from the other side here, all right? I do exactly the same side cutting because this is my comfortable position, right? So I'm not going to do like this, just going to do this one. Like that. Remove that edge, make it round. All right, and then... Now, this time I'm going to turn the other way around. So I used to do this, right? Now I do other way around. So this is the, the, the point that I'm doing the other side. Right. After that, again the same thing. Touch. That's it. Now, you see that's the that's the left side. If we look at from the bird to the bird from the behind of him, that's the left side. That's the right side. All right. One more time. Then I'm going to start doing the bodies. All right. Watch carefully. Scissor, complete open, only this part, and then cutting, 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 not completely. See, halfway through, I open the scissor again. All right. And then you may have the, some of the cuts may be the, a bit larger than the as usual, so you can just cut a bit shorter again. All right. Turn the other side. You know what? I like the scissor because the end bits, are roundish. Some of these are very sharp. It's not going to be realistic after that. Right? Look at that. As soon as I put that end bit, it becomes very thin and also separate itself. It becomes sort of natural looking. All right. All right. This one also here. So we don't have to do more because uh, it's already enough what I want to do today. So these are the method how to make the wings. That's most important. All right. After that, now I'm going to clear up and then start uh, knitting my passage again and start making the bodies. Okay, watch this. I'm going to do twice. Okay, to, just to make you understand better. All right. So the pastelage is nicely kneaded and at the same time, not too soft. Okay, nice and smooth, but not too soft. All right. If it's too soft, it's going to be troublesome. All right. So I'm just going to cut three equal pieces right from this. I'm going to share with you the exact the templates which I which I done it last time with the gazebo cake so this will be quite uh, proper that the information that to have you must have it all right so you can just click the information the 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 extension underneath this video uh, for course material or something I don't know what my son does so just go there and then pick up that all right all right now Now, the three pieces is ready. Uh, just make a little bit round that the corners doesn't get dry. All right. Then after that, every single one, before you do, knit again. A little bit of oil. 
Look at this. First, a nice clean bowl. Alright? Now, second step is drop this in the hand here, create that head part. Look at this. This is the head part. Alright? And after that, drop it again and create the tail part. Probably exactly similar, similar way. Alright? And after that, this part, you make it flat, like that, and then use the roller to make it nice and flat. Don't worry about some parts are there, doesn't matter, because we're going to cut this anyway. Alright, good, not so bad, alright, and after that, if something not in your liking, so just, just cut like that, alright. And after that, see this part is roundish. I'm going to remove that part, make it straight. Then after that, do exactly the same thing what I showed you before. The scissor cut, but not completely. All right. The last part I also cut. So after that, when this has happened, I'm going to touch again this one to make the same like, same like the wing. All right. So this is already done. So now, watch this. This one slightly like that, and then just pinch the, the beak. Pinch it out without adding something on it, you know, just like this. All right. After that, you have a pen, close, touch here, and touch here. All right. You can have also another one. Maybe just a little little tip of a, a skewer or something. Make another hole in the middle to make it make them looking. All right, that's it. So that's all the the body. So I like to use the same again, the plate here to put it there. All right. Okay. Let's go do another one. You see, it's already a bit skin, so you have to knead again. One round roll. That's the head. And turn around, do the exact same thing on the other side. So, see here. Right, this one flat. And after that, do this and this. That's the tail. All right, and cut the tail. Just like a brush. Then, all right, don't wait too long for the beak because if it's dry, you can't just pull this out, you cannot pinch it out. If you want, you can also cut the beak in two pieces like this, all right, if you want. So I don't do that often. There's the neck. All right, we're there. And then put this one here in the plate. Make sure that the, the tail position will be, you see it dries very quickly. See, it's already holding, all right? All right. I'm gonna do one more and then come back to you while I'm joining the wings. So, I already finished one of the birds. Uh, there is two more to go with you. Um, it is around 15 minutes past. So when it's 15 minutes past, the shape that, I mean, if I push this one now, it will, of course, smash. But it's already dry enough to holding the shape that what we uh, rely on the plate, right here, the shape of the plate, all right? So it's done. So uh, what I do now, 
I'm going to, uh, first of all, prepare my sticks, cake pop sticks. So this is quite difficult to go in the, into the, it's easy to go in the cake, but not in here, the styrofoam. So that's why I'm going to just chop the end bits slightly sharp with the scissor. So that helps, all right? All right, now, take the bird in the end, all right? And then take the proper one, this side. And also, uh, just prepare yourself a sponge or brush or anything, a little bit of water. So, because it's so dry, so I'm just touching over here to make it a little bit moist, all right? A little bit moist. And then after that, poking in the right place. So because this wing is hard, the body is soft, I can poke them and it stays there where it is. No problem at all. All right, so that is the speed that you can do actually tens of birds in no time uh, if you prepare your wings a day before. But sometimes, I don't believe everything what I say, sometimes if I'm in a hurry, I think two hours already good enough if you be a little bit careful. So if you're in the sort of like air conditioned area and then not so, uh, not so humid weather, uh, two, three hours, the wings are ready to, to go. All right, so, but you have to be careful when you're pushing, it can break quite easily, all right? So when it's ready, so I'm just gonna get this one, poke in the right place here, and then just go in the half of the body in there, and then poke it here. Look at that, it's already holding nicely, all right? So uh, when I look at it here, Something missing, right? The, the gloves, but I'm gonna do this one later. Let me finish this one first, all right? Again, just touch over here on the water. You can use also the egg white. Egg white is just very good, but don't make it too wet because if it's too wet, like the wetness will melt, the passage will be not so secure, all right? Just a little bit moisture is good enough. So here and the other one and here. That's it. So this one, don't go to front, more like backwards. So because when we place the, the bird in the cake, uh, it, this is not gonna be too much visible. So I select the, the cake pop sticks because they are white and they are so solid enough to, to hold it. So you can also use this uh, skewer, but uh, they are a bit thin, it's not gonna hold properly. And also like you have to paint this one white first. So with the titanium or something, that is good. So you can also make this entry, entry a little bit wet like this and poke it in. That's it, that's it, it's already there, all right? So I'm gonna put this over here. So let me show you how I do the gloves. Gloves, I'm not so sure I'm spelling correctly. You know what I mean, the hands. So, push one side, thin. Okay, it's like a knife, but over here is thicker, all right? Like that. So, again, one, two, three cuts. Again, one, two, three cuts. So this is one way to do. All right, this is already a very practical way to do it. All right, and then another way is you just take a small piece like that. Do that. And do that, same. And then push it down and push it down using this part of your hand. And after that, cut the fingers, three. One and three. Separate a little bit. So this is pretty similar, right? So the same method, all right? Not same method, but for same purpose. All right, just stay. Now, next thing is to make it like easy, make your finger a bit wet and touch underneath the body slightly. So make sure, make sure that the, the body underneath is a little bit moist. So it welcomes the other thing, what is joining together uh, will be quite easy to hold. Right? Otherwise, you try to glue something on a dry surface, it will be sometimes drop off, right? So it makes a little bit of moisture underneath here, right? Okay, now, look at this. Holding like that, touch like this, okay? And go there and then touch it, it will hold. All right, next one. Don't change the shape while you're holding. 
because we touch with the water underneath a little bit, it holds right away. Of course, you can also use the egg white if you like. Holding. And holding. So, our birds are ready. So next thing I'd like to show you, how to arrange this on the cake. Everything what we need to finish this cake is ready on the table. My wife did some red roses for me, and then I have these three birds ready, I will only use two, and I have my golden branch also here, according to the shape of the cake, so I already reformed a little bit the, the branches to make it accordingly, and I have some white chocolate melted here to glue the everything, all right? So, first of all, I have this ribbon, the gold ribbon. I put some double-sided tape at the ends, so I actually uh, tell you something very important. When you finish the cake in that stage, you have to turn around and choose the right place for the front. Even that cake is everywhere the same looking one, it may be some little dead, it may be something like little, uh, little failure that we can cover with, with the ribbon or we can cover with the flowers. That's why you turn the cake 360 degrees around and then select the best side that you choose and then make it this one as a front, all right? If the cake has got frontal decorations. Some cakes are uh, sort of omnidirectional decorations that everywhere look, look the same, but this particular cake, I choose this side as a front, so that's why I join the ribbons on behind, all right? So I have uh, two ends, have a little bit of like double-sided tape here. So just here, like that. That's the beginning, secure, and then the other side, remove, and fix it. Done. And the other one. One side already there, ready. There. There. Give a bit of tension, and then after that, go it. That's it. The joining part not even visible. All right. So, but even that, I like to put the joining parts at behind. So, uh, this branch is. It's lucky that it's a good shape, because I always. Uh, choose that kind of uh, the turns of the branch according to the shape of the cake. So, um, as I said before, it is a, a normal organic tree branch, which is a dry part of the tree. So I always find something in my garden which is, uh, which is not sort of like spray with chemicals and everything. I just keep it and I put it aside, the day will come, I need it and I can use it. So, it's what's happened. But as I said, every branch is a different shape. It may not match to that what you're looking for. You have to reform it, but reorganize the branches, glue them with some sort of like a hot glue gun or something, and then after that spray it. So, um, now, I like to place my, my branches here, all right? And I'm gonna put two birds. So, let's select that, that is nice. And that is also, all of them nice, but this is already, this wing is a bit more open, so I like to select this one. So I want to put it like this. So one goes this way, and then the other one goes this way. This one is more, more down, this one is more up, all right? So I can put this one right away here. I'm going that exactly touching to the branch here. And I don't want to push too much down, because I'm going to put the, the roses first and I push the bird after that down, all right? So next one goes somewhere around in this edge. As I said, I will leave it like this first. I can always push down more, okay? Now, uh, there are some visible parts on that, on that uh, extensions of the bird, which is the, the stick coming from the body of the bird. It looks odd, but I'm going to cover that with the, with the roses. So I'm going to put one roses here like that, a little bit of white chocolate, up here, second rose to here, like 
And then that's this chocolate that I'm touching with the rose actually securing also the branch in the right position. So I like to put one more rose behind here. So that's already good enough, I can see, uh, like that. At the moment, we have we can push the birds more down to make it in the right corner. We're putting the birds in such a way that it looks like they are sitting on the branch, but actually they are not, all right? That's it, that's already look nice, all right? So I'm gonna put now more roses around. Probably one rose here. No, one rose here. The front. Something small in this side. I also just one single petal roses, which is very good idea to make sort of extensions. All right. I want to do something interesting. I like to pretend like this branch is a rose branch. So I'm going to put one rose here, one small rose here, actually directly on the branch. Okay, and then also one single leaf, single petal. I'm going to put it over here also on the branch. Very small chocolate. That makes it like more extension here. I can see that is nothing wrong here, except still I can see some branches from here, but I'm going to use some leaves to cover that. All right. Of course, the priority is a front view, so I like to make it first the front. You can always cut those sugar leaves very small. And the last leaf. So, as far as I'm concerned, that cake is almost finished, except one little thing. I like to put, as a finishing touch, one little scroll over here. Something look old, ancient looking one, sort of like antique looking one, and, and written on top, happy anniversary. So, I don't want to just do it and place it over here and finish that. You don't get anything, information about that. I want to make it a bit more in detail. I like to make it a little bit more, uh, uh, go through the essential parts of it, how you do it, uh, what to do. And then that's why you will see that on my next video. That is all for me guys today. Thank you so much for watching me. Uh, God bless you all. Until next tutorial, bye for now.